In today's headlines, the workshop on the enactment and implementation of the law on climate change adaptation in Vietnam in 2016-2021 phase and solutions for coming type. Kansas City organized a conference to reveal the defense security tasks in 2022 and map out orientations and tasks for 2023. The workshop to analyze real situations of park, green trees, and bonsai in central districts of Kansas City, scientific foundations, and solutions. Hello, and it's good to see you back here in this edition of Continuous and Top News today. The workshop on the enactment and implementation of the law on climate change adaptation in Vietnam in 2016-2021 phase and solutions for coming time took place in Kansas City on December 8. The workshop was co-chaired by party central member or CAM member of the National Assembly Standing Committee, CAM chief of the Science, Technology and Environment Committee, Vice chief of the Science, Technology and Environment Committee, Nguyen Tung An, Vice director of the German Agency for International Cooperation, Omar Idor. Party central member, CAM secretary of Kansas City Party Committee, CAM head of Kansas City's National Assembly Delegation, Lee Quang Man, Vice chairman of Kansas City People's Committee, Nguyễn Ngọc Hè, were also present at the workshop. The workshop aims to solicit consultations from experts for more scientific foundations and actual results from then perfecting the surveillance report on implementing law policies on climate change adaptation in 2022 pursuant the resolution of the Science, Technology and Environment Committee. The workshop focused on four groups of big issues such as the enactment and organization, implementation, task solutions in coming type, especially in the areas of agriculture, infrastructure development, investment, areas heavily affected by climate change, climate change adaptation solutions in development planning of Mekondenta regional provinces and cities. On December 8, Kansas City organized a conference to reveal the defense security tasks in 2022 and map out orientations and tasks for 2023. Vice Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee, Nguyen Phan Hong, came to attend and delivered instructions. In 2022, the city's armed forces and department centers, localities, make efforts, unite, adhere to reality, heightened responsibility, actively give consultations and instructions to the city people's committee to basically and comprehensively complete military defensive tasks. As a core role, the military office has combined with department centers' collaborations to give consultation to the party committee, people's council, people's committee, to well complete the state management on military defensive tasks, notably the defensive zone exercises in Bình Thủy, Thuc Nuc, Vĩnh Thành districts, offering helps to stabilize life. Concluding the conference, Vice Chairman Nguyễn Văn Hồng underlined reasons recorded in 2022 which serve as the foundation to better carry out military and defensive tasks in 2023. On this occasion, many teams and individuals with excellent achievements in military defensive tasks were presented the medal certificates by the Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee. Also on December 8 morning, Kansas City's Union of Science and Technic Associations, in combination with the city's fundamental creatures association, held a workshop to analyze real situations of park, green trees, and bonsai in central districts of Kansas City, scientific foundations and solutions. Participants said the workshop were leaders of relevant centers, green tree experts in Kansas and Ho Chi Minh cities. In the workshop, delegates presented speeches on vision, opportunities, challenges in planning, managing urban green trees based on cycles of trees to save costs and ensure safety for Kansas City dwellers, experiences in planning and managing park green trees and bonsai in Ho Chi Minh City, managing public green tree system in Kansas City by information technology. Cantor aims to plant nearly 7 million green trees in 2021-2025 phase. Experiences shared at the workshop will contribute to mapping out specific solutions that contribute to adding urban beauty and social economic development of the city. The Transport Ministry has just sent the official letter to the Transport Departments of Cantor and Yang Hau Yang and Sok Trang in reply to the suggestion of building stop-over stations in Chao Dok Cantor Sok Trang Expressway. 
Earlier, Kansas City People's Committee had asked for permission to the Transport Ministry to build three stop-over stations on the expressway in the three above-mentioned branches and cities. The Transport Ministry asserted that the location of the stopover stations must meet the national standard of DCVN 5729-2012. Accordingly, the stopover stations must be between 50 and 60 kilometers apart. This station can supply petroleum, repairing services, parking lots, restrooms, and food service. Large stopover stations must be between 120 and 200 kilometers apart and supply additional services of resident tourism indication, among others. The ministry also requested units in charge to define locations which ensure distance is stabilized. In line with this, localities in relation need to define floor clearance costs, which is requested to be updated in the feasible result report in submission to the Transport Ministry. Leaders of Vĩnh Thành Sabah District People's Community had just held a meeting with locals in Thành Quế and Thành Tiến Commons to popularize the construction of the project of investing in building Châu Đốc Cần Thơ Sóc Trăng Expressway, the first phase that runs through Vĩnh Thành Sabah District. Châu Đốc Cần Thơ Sóc Trăng Express project runs through Vĩnh Thành Sabah District at a length of 9.25 km, 5.9 km and 3.35 km of which runs through Thành Quế and Thành Tiến Commons. At a meeting, representatives of stricken households proposed building a local road and irrigation canal for transporting and trading. Leaders of Vĩnh Thành Sabah District received and analyzed while presenting and explaining local proposals. So for this year, transport operations in Kansas City have bounced back, in which revenues of transport support services and post service strongly increased. In the last 11 months, there were more than 23.5 million passengers, doubling against the same period last year. Nearly 9.4 million tons of goods were transported, a rise of over 23% against the same period last year. The total transport service revenue was estimated at more than 3,000 billion Vietnam dong, a rise of nearly 30% against the corresponding period. On December 7th afternoon, the firefighting rescue police chamber under Kansas City's public security organized the fire control exercise at Victoria Kansas Hotel. The fire was simulated to be caused by electrical leakage and occurred at room number 242, floor number 2 of the hotel. There were eight victims who suffocated from poisonous smoke and gas in need of rescue. Right after receiving the news, the fire brigade mobilized 25 members to lend their hands to extinguish the fire and rescue victims. In line with that, the firefighting and rescue police called for two firefighting vehicles, and a fire was controlled and extinguished. Eight victims were saved. Farmers in Thuc Nộp Upper the Street have so far finished transplanting the 2022-2023 winter spring rice crop. In 2022-2023 winter spring rice cup, farmers in Thuc Nộp Upper the Street transplanted more than 3,600 hectares. Transplanted varieties are mainly Dytom 8, making up 80%, and Jasmine 85, OM 5451, OM18, making up the combined area of around 20%. Besides, in 2022-2023 winter spring rice crop, Thuc Nộp Upper the Street maintained and expanded eight large paddy fields in seven walls, which cover the combined area of more than 978 hectares, with 1,090 farming households participating in producing hybrid and high-quality rice varieties. Last but not least, we have the updated for the forecast. And that's it for this edition of Continues. If you want to watch again in a similar turn, please visit our website, gentertv.vn. And now thanks for being with us. Goodbye and see you next time.